Well, cheers, Felicity. No trouble at all, Mr. Antipas. 11th of February 2006, the day Peter Benchley went the way of his shark. For us, however, it began routinely. Just another day at the office. We didn't know it then, but it was to turn out to be the last day of the shoot. Hi, Tom! Coming in tonight? Great. Just been to Halifax, as you know. Uh, lovely little stockish. Um, run by a couple of guys, good friends of mine, Paul Shane uh, and uh, Stephen Seagal. Not the celebrities, of course, a gay couple. Get these inside, I'm going to make some money tonight, kid. What the hell am I doing? Unbelievable, what am I doing? I can't believe I've done this. Oh, dear me. Come on, lazy bones, come on. Come on, wake up, wakey, wakey. Sunshine, come on, son. Come back. Come on, get up. Stock to be shifted there. Bring it in. Just why I stayed around when all I found was a heartache. I believed your every word, didn't know the hurt and pain that you. Take so long and last now I've seen the light. What are you fucking doing? Come on, damn it, what are you doing? This time I'm not get it. You locked me in the boot for three hours. I nearly die in there. And all you care about is ordering me about like you always order me about. Unbelievable. So sick of I ne me. Listen to me for one second, young man. I needed, I needed the room on the back seat for the stock. You know that. Not on the way that. to Halifax, only on the way back. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you know how I feel. I, I put a new air freshener in. Oh, this is, there you go again, Johnny. Smelly little creek spirals, making a smell of the car. The only reason I smell is because you make me sleep in the back of the car and make me wear the same horrible shell suit for three years without changing my clothes or washing them. And I try to keep clean, Johnny. I try, but you, you just don't let me. I'll tell you something, young man. I made you here. Don't say a fucking word. Just wait a minute. Yes, I know. I made you here. Let me tell you something. I've given you, I've given you everything I could possibly get. I've accommodated you so much. I put a roof over your head, for God's sake. A bloody car roof, Johnny. That's all it's no. ever been. You wouldn't let me in the house. You say I'm not good enough for the house. It's outrageous. I can't believe you. I can't believe the way you're talking to me here. I can't believe it. Why aren't you surprised, Johnny? It's about time. You treat everybody like this. You're a nasty what do you mean? man. What do you mean, I don't? Oh, some girl you treat really bad. I How feel dare sorry you? for her. How dare you? And not just some girl. What about Showbiz Asylum? What, what about, about it? Act? Great what night. About even the audience. Great night, as you know, a great night. It could be a great night. What? But it isn't because you treat everybody badly and everybody hates you for it. Not what? just me. The acts, your wife, the audience, they all hate Throughout you. the filming, I had longed for Spiros to stand up to Johnny. When it finally happened, I felt elated, even proud. But as the scene unfolded, I began to feel uneasy. I had a strong sense of dread, as if we were racing, blindly, towards the one inevitable conclusion. Johnny, just please listen. I, I care a lot about you, Johnny. Just try and change. I'm, I, I'm so I am going nicer. to change. Young man, I am going to change. For the first time in my career, my instinct was to step in to shout cut, but I reminded myself why I was there, and I didn't. Right. And this is the start of the change. That's right, Jimmy. Okay? Yeah. Sat! Get out of me thin sight! Johnny, me think about it! Johnny, you heard me, think about it! Get me. out! Johnny. Get out! Get out! Johnny! Go away! I never ever want to see you again! I can't believe it. Stay there, my love. You stay there. Brain damage. Brain damage. Right. 
Oh, have you done it? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm knackered. You're knackered. I did most of the digging. Stop your moaning. What do you want? A big hat? A medal? I don't know. Come on, I'll make you horlicks. I'll tell you about my days in wrestling.